it's time for us to get back into Nancy Drew, A Legend of the Crystal Skull. We had a heck of a skee-ball experience in the end of the last video there. Uh, I don't know what else to say to you. This, I wouldn't say it was a terrible thing to do. I would say it was tedious thing to do. Now, I did get the eyeball, and I did get the Easter egg from it. Now, from what I understand, actually... If you keep playing, there's maybe two more Easter eggs? Ah, uh, yeah. No, no, thank you. <laughs> I'll pass. I don't need more Easter eggs. I've got three of them. And uh, from what I understand, there's two more if you just continue playing that game and flipping them all back to mouths and chickens and all that good stuff. Uh, what we are going to do here, we'll just have a quick look at our inventory. See, so there's the new egg we got. Uh, we need to... Uh, actually, one of you had mentioned... Where is it? the gumball machine if I put the money in there let's see where that is this one here maybe there we go so we have another eyeball so now we have 10 10 out of 25 which means we have a lot more to do uh, what else was there to do here uh, no that wasn't it there was a book somewhere I think this was it here Okay, so this book here, Short Stories for Tired Eyes, uh, from what you were telling me, or some of you were telling me, that this is all of where the eyes are hidden. So, for example, Time Will Tell, that's the first one. Uh, time Will Tell. Uh, so it looks like this is to do with the clock downstairs. So we'll actually go to the grandfather clock. Uh, actually, I don't know. Can we sneak out of here? Yeah, maybe. I don't know if that's actually quicker or not, but... We'll go downstairs to the grandfather clock. And then we'll have a look at that puzzle. No, not here. Thank you. Oh, no, not there. There we go. Grandfather cock. So I actually got the Easter egg out of here already. Uh, but now we're going to get the eyeball. Or at least I th think that's what's here. I'm just going to get myself a pen. Um... So let's have a look here then at my book. So I assume we're going to be doing a lot of this kind of back and forth between the books. And I keep clicking the wrong darn book. There we go. So I have a feeling we're going to be going back and forth, back and forth. And I'll try to do this as painless as possible. But obviously we, you know, we got to take care of business here. So uh, if we look here, so midday, that's 12. Uh, see that there? So the clock time will uh, three hours have passed. Uh, so that'll be three o'clock actually. Uh, let's pretend it's that time and then move ahead two more hours so that'll be five o'clock. And from there, let's say that it's nine hours before. Uh, nine hours before. So that's 8 o'clock. Uh, let's see here. Uh, if 6 hours before, then we've made the note of the time. So that would be 6 hours before 8 is 2. What time would it be if we moved ahead 9? So that should be 11. Wow, this is going to take forever. His students wrote down 6 numbers in all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, let's go. Let's get this done. So I assume we have to keep doing this for each, between each number. So 12, 3, 5, 8, 2, 11. There we go. So there's eyeball number 11, if I can just get it. There we go. Eyeball 11. Okay. Uh, do we have to do this again? How many times do we have to do this? Because I, I realized that book wasn't, or that story wasn't done, was it? Let's have a look. I'll switch page here. The students wrote down six numbers, then it went back to their daydreams, big and small. Okay, so look, part two. Oh, good grief. 
<laughs> I gotta do this again. At high noon, the sheriff stepped into the street. Okay, so that's 12. And addressed, bad man, five hours ago I told you to leave town. So that's seven. And you swore you'd be gone in three. So that's ten. There is a reason why you're still here. Okay, let's see what the next page says. I left right away, I said. I would, Bart explained. But just as I was riding out, my horse threw a shoe. I took him straight to the blacksmith, but he was real busy. Said it would be five hours till he finished. Uh, okay, so then that means 10 plus 5 is 3. Better tell him to get a move on, the sheriff drawled, because two hours from now, if you're still here, you're going to be real sorry. Okay, so that is... Uh, wait, what? I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. Two hours from now. But I understood he went back to the blacksmith and an hour later was on his way. Okay, well let's try this one. I, I'm not sure if I've got this one done right, but we'll try it. Wow, I can't believe we have to do this. Ah, uh, can we back out? Because I just messed that up. Oh no, actually that was right. Twelve. Seven. Ten. Three. Two. One. Okay. Another egg. Wow, I think I have to do this one more time. Oh my god, this clock is uh, got a whole bunch of eyeballs in it for some reason. Alright, let's look at the book again. Back and forth, back and forth. I might ha I might do this off camera. I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I be going through this on camera or should I strategize off camera? Feels like flipping b back and forth might be a little bit uh, uh, unexciting. I guess that's the right way to put it. Okay, so 12 is the first one again. Four hours before, so that's eight. He would be leaving in the mere two hours, so that was ten. Six hours later, so that's four p.m. After the usual five hours, so that's nine. I would be able to keep my rendezvous, but two hours later, so eleven. Okay, so hopefully this is the last one. We're going to have to do the library's tale next. But I think I actually might do that off camera. Let me just think about that. We'll go ahead and get this one done because we are here. That's 8 o'clock. 10. Uh, 4 it doesn't usually look like that, but that's fine. 9. And 11. So there's the next eyeball. Eyeball. Phew. So that's cool. Now we're done with that. Uh, so what do we want to do? Well, if we look quickly at the next one here, the librarian one, what was it called? The Librarian's Tale. Uh, let's see, but to get such an eye, you must first take a look at the cards to keep track of every book. The title's the thing, additions the hook, that will let you remove the orb from its nook. So I need to go to a card catalog, apparently. Oh, look, and there's the teeth one there. Okay, so I'm going to screenshot this. There we go. Because I think we're going to need that for the teeth one. Now, is this the library here? 
No, I don't think it is actually. Oh, unless it's this one. I don't even know what that book is. But the books were in the other room, I believe. Yeah. Where Henry's sitting. Sits, he's been sitting here the entire, like, forever, you know? Now, where was that card catalog? Where was that? I'm not sure if it was here. Oh, yeah, it was here. Oh, boy. Okay, so let's just look quickly here. Oh, wow. So you have to keep going through. This is a pain. Yeah, I think I've made a decision. I'm going to do this off camera. I'll do this one here. Uh, so we've got title, thing, edition, hook. Okay. So how do I do that? Good question. How many times am I going to have to go through this? So, oh. Turn a blind eye. A librarian's tale. Hmm. Something Bruno Bollet wrote in that Tired Eyes book mentioned the librarian's eye. <laughs> it's been 10 minutes and Nancy finally speaks. Wow. Okay, so I think we have to add all these numbers together. Uh, the eye and the other tail, so that's 401. Let's see how well I could do my math. Not now, not ever. So we don't need that one. Prudent living. Bridges to nowhere. Camel and the needler's eye, so that's 608. So that's uh, 1009. Cat's eye is 10, 1019. Cavities and their pre prevention. I actually, I think I've been through all this already, from what I recall. Eye candy, four. Finding fish, no. Grinding fake eyes, 511. Turn to blind eye, 06. Librarian's tale. Okay, so I've got 401, 608, 10, 4, 511, and 6. Just get my iPhone out and we'll do the math here quickly. So that's 1540. 1000. 540. Uh, okay, so where am I going to find this book? Here we go. A librarian's tale. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, so we know the code. It's one, five, four, zero. Yay, another eyeball. Totally collecting eyeballs like crazy. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna just see what Henry has to say for yes. himself, since he's here. I'm afraid you're going to be stuck with me for a while. Let me guess. Because of the big storm that's blowing in. Everyone in the city's freaking out, and you can't get a cab. Bingo. Person at the bank told me. Just before she put me on hold for two hours. Ah, uh, don't worry. We've got plenty of food here. Beds, candles. You're welcome to stay. Thank you. Do you think I could borrow your keychain? The one that has Bruno's glass eye on it? You want to borrow it? What for? Actually, all I really want is the eye. I mean, it's just so cool. What if you break it? If it's on a chain, it can't be that fragile. I don't think I want to take that chance. Sorry. What? The box of your great uncle's things that you sold to Zeke's curio shop, that was a no-no, wasn't it? What box of things? I don't know what you're talking about. The guy who owns the shop said you sold him a box of assorted items. I am assuming they used to be Bruno's. Well, somebody screwed up somewhere because I haven't sold anything to anybody. Why would I sell one lousy box of stuff when I'm about to inherit a whole house full of stuff? 
Get real. You sold it because you needed some quick cash in order to keep Summer happy, didn't you? How do you know about her? Playing detective is actually a lot more than a hobby with me. I could make a lot of trouble for you, Henry. But if you come clean, tell me about Summer. She's this girl I'm in love with. I think she loves me back, but she's so unpredictable it drives me nuts. <laughs> wow. Okay. How is she unpredictable? I never know what's going to make her happy. Like, just before I left, I took practically every bit of cash I had and bought her a bunch of CDs. You know, to keep her occupied while I was gone, right? Well, soon as I get here, she calls and says her sound system just went bluey and I had to buy her a new one because what good were the CDs I bought her if she couldn't play them? So then I... So then you threw a bunch of Bruno's things into a box and sold it to that curio shop. Yeah. I wired her the money, but then she called and said she also needed new headphones. Next call, it was new speakers. She's and now them. she expects me to buy her a flat screen TV. When I try to talk to her about always wanting more like that, she gets really mad. But I'm afraid if I don't give her what she wants, she'll... She'll what? I'm afraid she'll dump me. And I couldn't take that. I mean, she's the only girlfriend I've ever had. Oh, no. Or will have, probably. Oh, no. Look, it's like an email. you don't need to go telling Renee or any of those lawyers about selling that stuff, right? I can't just ignore what you did, Henry. I know. You still want the glass eye? Take yes, it. I do. Go ahead. It's all yours. You want something, I want something, take it and we're even, okay? Well, it's not like you sold off half the estate or anything. Three hundred bucks. That's all I've gotten out of his estate. I swear. Go on, take it. Alright, that's one way to get the eyeball. Aha. Aha. I was naughty, but from now on I'll be nice, I promise. Do you know anything about the crystal skull that was in that box of junk you sold to Zeke's? There wasn't any crystal skull in that box. Are you sure? It would have been inside another box. Well, I did throw in some smaller boxes. Like I said, I was just grabbing stuff. Was it valuable? All I really know for sure right now is that it's missing. Great. Be just my luck to have sold something that wasn't junk to that glorified trash collector. Yep, I think you did there. For three hundred dollars to priceless. I'm going nice to keep job. looking around. Awesome. Nice job there, fella. Alrighty then, so that's good. Well we have another eye. So we are collecting eyes like they are going out of style. Now here's some teeth over here. So I'm assuming we're gonna have to do this puzzle here. Uh, let's have a look at the next story here. I wish the book would uh Remember the page I left off on. It's kind of annoying to have to keep going here. Alright, so let's write some notes here. Uh, primary teeth history. 01, 14, 78, 04, 13, 78, 01, 18, 80. Field upper right, second molar. Okay. Filled. Extracted. Upper right. S central incisor. And then upper left. Central incisor. I'm going to have to go look at that. Uh, oh, well, actually, I took a screenshot of the diagram filled lower left uh, lateral incisor you know all of the uh, activities here to go and get all these eyes I kind of feel like I would like to make breakfast and lunch and dinner again like I had to do in uh, white uh, wolf here or sorry icicle lodge white wolf of icicle lodge I think that's what it's called right because getting all these eyes is kind of a major deal. Alright, I'm just going to screen cap that and then I'll look at that as well. Uh, let's see here. So we have to figure out what we have to do here. Um, hmm. So what does this exactly do? 
Do I have to actually go back and look at that poster, maybe? Oh, wait, oh, wait, here we go. What's this? This is something here. Uh, no, still don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, so... Uh, I don't think we'll have... Oh, uh, I'll just look at it. Okay, so I did a bit of a quick thinking here. I, I'm going to pause, because we're already at about 20 minutes. And hopefully you endured all of my painful exercise of getting a few eyes that I've gotten so far. I'm going to do a bit of research. I'm going to run around. I'm going to look at the notebook, gather up a bunch of notes. And then uh, in the next video, I'll try and click them a bit quicker. And hopefully we'll all enjoy that experience a lot more than me uh, painfully reading each, each of the uh, clues that are in the book. So for now, we'll say goodbye and we'll see you very soon.